This is a brief demonstration of the process faculty can use to configure an overall grade using a total calculation. So in this example, Ultra Course, I'm looking at the gradebook and I have several columns here that have assessments and let's say that I want to configure my overall grade column. If I don't see the panel that prompts me to create an overall grade, I can go into the gear icon in the gradebook and then click on the Setup Overall Grade button. That takes me to the screen where I can choose how I want the overall grade to be configured. In this example, I'm just going to go with points and I'm just going to calculate points earned out of points possible. So I'm going to go to click Next. That takes me to my overall grade screen where I can see all the categories I have in the course and these categories are drop downs where I can see what assessments are attributed to them. And notice at the top I have three options. I can use points, I could use weighted, or an advanced calculation. I just want to stick with points because I just want to sum the points earned out of points possible, so that's what I'm going to keep selected. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I expected there to be 1,000 points, so somewhere in here there's something extra that I need to exclude. So let's just take a quick look and see what that might be. And I think that's my syllabus confirmation assignment. If I don't want to include that in my total, I can click the no symbol next to it and that's going to exclude it. So I have my 1000 points that I'm looking for. The categories really don't matter because I'm not using them to uh, weight the grade, so I can ignore the categories and leave them as they are. All right, over at the overall grade settings, panel on the right. Note how base calculation on points earned out of total graded points is selected. This means that this total is going to be a running total, meaning it's going to only include the work that students have been scored on. And it's going to ignore work that students have not attempted or been scored on. So as students begin the course, their, their calculation might be artificially high. And as they complete more work throughout the course and they get scored on it, the calculation will normalize. It will become more reflective of what their final final grade will really be. So this is sort of a, a progress grade type of uh, calculation right now. All right, and under select how overall grade is displayed, this is your primary display. So you can choose points, percentage, letter, or any other schema that you have set up in the course. So let's say I just want to do points. I'm going to select it and I'm going to show this to students. So I'll click Save. And that's all I need to configure this. I'm going to exit out. And let's go to my grid mode here and just see. So now I see this overall grade column and it's calculating the points the student has earned out of the points possible. Okay. 